Kim Jong Un is portrayed as a god in North Korea and a lunatic tyrant abroad. The supreme leader has tangled with the world's most powerful men, including the president of the United States, Donald Trump, who called Kim a madman with nuclear weapons. This is how a young man in his late twenties became the supreme leader of one of America's most feared nations. The Kim Dynasty began in 1948, when Kim's grandfather Kim Il Sung founded the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The great leader ruled for 45 years before he died of a heart attack. He was succeeded by his son, the dear leader Kim Jong Il, until his death in 2011, also from a heart attack. Then the third Kim, Kim Jong Un, took the top job. No one is sure when the latest Kim, the supreme leader, was born or where. Other than it was either in 1983 or 1984, he is the son of one of several women to have had relations with his father, Kim Jong Il. Before his ascension, Kim was barely seen in public, and his upbringing is shrouded in secrecy. He's widely thought to have been educated at a private school in Switzerland, but no one remembers him. The little we do know about his childhood is according to his personal sushi chef, Kenji Fujimoto. According to Kenji Fujimoto, as Kim Jong Un grew into adulthood, he loved smoking Yvonne Saint Laurent cigarettes, enjoyed drinking, you know,、uh, Johnny Walker whiskey, and had had his own、uh, Mercedes Benz 600,、uh, which is a very expensive luxury sedan. When his father Kim Jong Il started having health problems, a propaganda campaign kicked into gear to thrust his spoiled son into the spotlight. <laughs> When his father died, Kim quickly took hold of power, solidifying his control through a mixture of charm and brutality. He broke with the reclusive style of his father by unveiling his wife Lee Solju and making numerous public speeches. He has also used his love of basketball to engage in diplomatic theatrics, inviting former NBA star Dennis Rodman back to Pyongyang for what is believed to be his fifth time. According to diplomats in North Korea, you know Kim Jong Un likes to drink, likes to party all night, and Dennis Rodman,、uh, one of the frequent visitors there, has talked about that. He reportedly recruited many young female companions for his private entertainment troupe. On the flip side, Kim has used fear and control to keep rivals in check, executing senior members of the military, including several of his defense ministers and his uncle. A South Korean report says Kim personally ordered the execution of 340 people in his first six years in charge, but it's his single-minded pursuit of nuclear weapons which has put the international community on edge. A host of sanctions from China and the U.S. have done little to stop or even slow Kim's ambitions. Yeah, I think the perception is that, or at least with with Kim Jong Un, is that he feels that having a nuclear weapon will give him greater leverage in any talks between the U.S. and North Korea. Whether Kim is capable of an effective nuclear strike is open to question, but his aggressive rhetoric and regular missile tests are troubling the international community. It doesn't help that the, the president of the United States calls him a madman and a senator calls him a crazy fat kid.、Uh, these images actually really belie, I think, a pretty astute leader. Whether he's a dictator or not, he has been able to maintain. Control, absolute control over the country. Madman or astute political operator. Either way, Kim Jong Un's political ambitions are putting his regime on a collision course with the U.S. as well as his neighbors, with a standing army of 1.3 million and 7.6 million more in reserve. North Korea is on a permanent war footing and ready to roll across its border into South Korea.